Cricut is going to release another big update, probably this month, but maybe in November. They are already pushing it with the Cricut influencers and in the Design Space apps, even on Android and iOS. I'm going to briefly show you what should be in version 7.20. Since it's still in beta and things can change, I'm going to do a more in-depth video when the final version rolls out. My name is Ruth. This is Hanks, Maker Mentor. The What's New panel has two sections in this update, reversible combinations and a new and improved layers panel. We'll start with the layers panel changes. This is what you'll see in videos made with versions of Design Space 7.19 and older. The top has group, ungroup, duplicate, and delete. The new layers panel is more streamlined for now. They haven't removed any functionality, but the location of the functions is a little bit different. They've combined group and ungroup into one button depending on what you have selected. When I select this text that says new layers panel, it offers to ungroup it. If you can't remember what the different icons mean, if you just hover over them with your mouse, it'll let you know what the icon is and what the keyboard shortcut is. If I select multiple layers, like reselecting all of these lines of text, it will offer to group it. The new update also allows us to name layers in the layers panel. This will help when we're working on designs with a lot going on. To rename, you'll double click or right click and select rename. This works for layers or groups. This is valuable because with the new update, it no longer tells you what operation each design is going to be used in the layers panel. So you'll see here that I renamed it to DeBoss star, Engraves star, Guide star, and more to make sure I knew which layer I was looking at. We can now move layers into a different order, including into other groups. You click on the layer and you drag it. Now let's take a look at the bottom of the layers panel. The old version had slice, weld, attach, flatten, and contour. Here's the new version. What happened to weld? How can we make sure that our script fonts that we manually adjust the lettering cuts properly without all the extra tiny cuts inside? Weld is still available. You don't need to panic. It's here under the Combine Tools submenu. When you select it, Weld will be at the top with Unite, Subtract, Intersect, and Exclude listed underneath. But before you click Weld and go on your merry way, you might want to use Unite instead. Unite will make sure the script fonts cut without the intersecting lines cutting similar to Weld, but it can be done even after you have saved and closed your project. Before this, if you welded something, you would have to click the undo arrow and you'd lose everything you had done from the time you welded to the time you realized that something was wrong with it. If you saved and closed, there was no way to unweld it. To ununite, you click on the combine tool again and it will have the option to undo unite. It will leave things as the united color, but you can go in and change them to the colors you choose and work with them individually. Subtract functions similar to slice, but instead of being limited to slicing two layers at a time, you can have two or more layers selected. It also remains together in the layers panel so you can find the layers and adjust it later as needed. When using subtract, the top layer is subtracted from the bottom layer. You'll need to make sure your top layer doesn't cover all of your bottom layer. The combine menu also has intersect and exclude, which can be used with creating designs. I need to practice with them more before I try and explain them to you. A few important things about the combine menu. You can undo, unite, subtract, intersect, and exclude. The layers panel can get busy with all these new functions going on. If you want, you can open the combine menu and select merge layers. This function is similar to weld. It can't be undone and it will simplify the layers panel. Since this is the beta version and there might be some additional changes when the full version rolls out, make sure you click subscribe and the bell icon so you're notified when I release that video as well as the other Cricut videos I release every week with occasional bonus videos. Thanks for watching Hanks, Maker Mentor, and until next time, bye.